Devin Carnes. Uh, I I live here in Santa Fe. I'm an artist and an animator and a filmmaker. Uh, I worked in the film industry in, in LA for um, the better part of a decade and uh, worked at, was a Disney animator and did visual effects and now I'm putting my animation and 3D skills to work in a uh, web series for YouTube that's animated and uh, some 3D printed uh, things that I make. Hi, I'm Merle Potter and I came to Santa Fe 50 years ago. So been here for a while, done all sorts of things. I'm uh, Andrew Gilreath Brown. I'm a uh, PhD candidate at uh, Washington State University, and I do archaeology. I'm John Paul Gonzalez, JP. I think Santa Fe is coming together. We have a lot of people coming in, a lot of mixing going on. You know, Miel is great. Um, the El Rey, La Reina, you meet people there. Um, Santa Fe Institute, in fact, that's a that's a very nice place to be because you just have so many different people coming through. Um, and Santa Fe is becoming that, that city that they talk about, where people are coming in, they're going out, they're meeting, they're interacting and creating. I came to Santa Fe, I actually came to New Mexico for the first time working on a big superhero movie back in 2011 uh, with, uh, with Sony Pictures Imageworks. Uh, so I had never been to New Mexico before and I just completely fell in love with it as a place to live and as a place to be creative. And, uh, and so I have come here, unfortunately, right after that experience. We switched governors and there were some issues. The film industry left, so I went back to LA to work for a while, but uh, never forgot about New Mexico and, and ultimately came back here to try to do my own thing. I'm here with the Santa Fe Institute as part of the Complex System Summer School, and they bring together lots of different fields, economists, archaeologists, uh, lots of physicists, uh, but uh, it kind of uh, pushes the bounds of like in terms of disciplines because uh, not everybody really feels like they fit in their own discipline so just bringing t together people with lots of different ideas and approaches and seeing uh, what kind of emerges from that. Merging media means to me that there are so many different ways that people are expressing themselves uh, to each other and to the world and uh, it seems like every other minute we're inventing new ways of doing that. And uh, I think it's uh, a wonderful open way to think about things. When I was a little kid, I loved science fiction. They talked about all these crazy things that were going to be invented. Most of them already happened. So this emerging media is sort of the science fiction of today. It's a way for people to, for the public to connect more to science because they kind of see the more in, can see the more intri intricate, complex details. And I think for especially for in my field, um, as archaeology kind of moves more into the kind of technological computational phase, of uh, being able to explore new options and uh, new ways of interacting with uh, data and information. What excites me about emerging what's happening in the film industry, I guess, with new media and that sort of thing, is um, that we're, as filmmakers, able to create our own stuff now and put it out there, you know, whereas the big problem for a filmmaker really 10, 15 years ago trying to get your films out into the world was how am I going to get, you know, in, how am I going to find an agent, how am I going to pitch to a big studio, how am I going to get it made, and now you have the tools to make it yourself, to put it on the internet yourself, to promote it yourself, so there's this entire ecosystem through which one creator or five creators or what have you is able to put something out into the world and promote it and see how it does. Los Alamos Labs and the Santa Fe Institute, and the Santa Fe Institute itself is really a big part of emerging, emerging media, the whole theory behind it, the complexity theory really is driving a lot of these things that we're, all, we're looking at. So people think of Santa Fe as being a historic place, but it's oh, it has a fantastic scientific tradition, second to no place in, in the world. Really. So why shouldn't we have all that? Media should serve to connect people, to make us all understand where we are, how we're connected, uh, what we're all doing. And I think that's the most valuable piece of, of how we create.